In this video, I am going to talk about ways to use your daily notes pages. Or in other words, I'm going to talk about ways to fill up blank planner pages. If you flip through your planner and you see a bunch of blank planner pages, then this video is for you. Now your planner notes pages work similar to any other notebook or sticky note, but what you write down is much easier to find when you write it down in your planner because you'll have it all in one place. So that leads us to tip number one. Tip number one one is to eliminate floating paper. Whenever possible, incorporate information directly into your planner. Loose papers and sticky notes get lost too easily and they're difficult to refer to later. Tip number two, use your notes pages for miscellaneous information or non-categorized information. So this is where you're going to put single entry items. On the other hand, categorized information like project notes, minutes from regular team meetings, coaching rosters, team information, business expenses, those type of things should go in the tab section of your planner. The tab sections are for categorized items that have multiple entries and notes. Tip number three for using your daily notes pages is when you are capturing information that is important that you might want to refer to again later, then number that entry in parentheses. This will make it easier to refer to that information later. So if you have a monthly index page with your planner, I have the Franklin Planner system here which comes with a monthly index page. The monthly index page is like a table of contents for the month. This is where you refer back to important information that's on your daily notes pages. So you can quickly just scan this one page and find the information that you're looking for. On your monthly index page, you would put the date that an event occurred that you may want to refer to again later. And then you'll put a date and a number. That number corresponds to the number that you wrote in parentheses on your planner pages. All of the items shown in this video can be found on the franklinplanner.com website and you can save money with discount promo code TANYAPLANS. If you happen to be using a planner that doesn't have a monthly index page, you can make one yourself by making a monthly index page with a blank planner page in your planner or you can repurpose a planner page in your planner that's not being currently used. Tip number four for using your daily planner pages is that you can use this as a spot to write down the top three things you want to accomplish for the day. Tip number five for using your daily planner pages is use these pages as a place to write down the weather and the temperature for the day. Tip number six is to use your daily planner pages to brainstorm. Write down your plans or ideas about a project. However, if you think there will be several pages about this particular project, you would want to put that in the tab section of your planner. Tip number seven is to use your daily notes pages to journal about your moods. See if your moods correlate to the moon phases. See if your moods are affected by the weather and see how your moods are affected by your cycle if you have one. By tracking this information, you can find out a lot about yourself. Tip number eight, each day write down something that you are grateful for. Tip number nine, use your daily notes pages to write down a short Bible verse to meditate on. Writing down something that you want to remember is a great way to make it stick psychologically. If you're not into the Bible, write about something that makes you feel more connected to something larger than yourself, such as nature. Tip number 10, track your weight. Tip number 11, track what you eat or what you plan to eat. Tip number 12 for your daily planner notes is to write down what you spent your money on or what you plan to spend your money on. Tip number 13 is to use your daily notes pages to write down the best thing that happened to you that day. Tip number 14 is to use your daily notes pages to write down what's on your mind. I find this very helpful for me psychologically and it saves my family and friends from listening to me babble about every little thing that comes to mind. Writing things down and getting them out on paper I find is just as effective as talking to someone. Tip number 15 and the last tip is to get creative with your daily notes pages. Use them to doodle, to sketch, to draw. You may use your stickers. You can print pictures and attach them in your planner and kind of use it more like a scrapbook. Did you find this information helpful? If so, please give this video a thumbs up. In conclusion, filling your planner with all types of information
information allows your planner to become a valuable resource. And not only that, it becomes a wonderful keepsake that you can flip through and enjoy looking back on later on. All of this is not to say that white space isn't bad. I believe white space can be very valuable as well, especially as white space in your schedule gives you time to think about, to strategize, and prepare and plan for what's coming up in your life or to even reflect on what has already happened. Do you have any advice that you would like to offer on how to use the daily planner notes pages? If so, please leave that down in the comments. I love talking to you guys about planners. This is Tanya helping you feel more organized so this can be your best year yet. Take care.